Hello everyone. Well, in our previous video, we discussed that how you can write the get method using the rest assured framework. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss that how you can capture the response of the request. So inside the API documentation, if you look at the return type of get method, it is of type response, which is an interface. And inside this particular interface, there is a method called as string, which is coming from one more interface that is response body type. So the interface response extends from response body data. So if I open this interface, inside this interface, there is a method called as a string, which will capture the response and return us in the string format. So here, as you know that the get method give us the type of response. So response, response, and inside this interface, there is a method called as a string, which will give us the string representation of response. So as string. So I'm going to put a debug point over here and run this script in a debug mode. So I'm going to perform the get request to the ping endpoint. Capture the response and print the response at the console. So as you can see here. So let me perform the get request to an endpoint which will list the detail present inside the container. So this is the endpoint URL. So I'm going to run this script. So as you can see here, it has written as the response and this is the XML representation. Okay. So in this manner, you can capture the response and print at the console. Now consider a scenario. I want to get the response in the JSON format. That is a precondition for me. So I'm going to update my test case, including the precondition. So here I will use given accept the response in JSON format. Although I can supply the header, which is this one, that will tell us that we want the data in the form of JSON format. But instead of using this header, I will set a precondition that response should be in the JSON for me. So as it is a precondition, that's why I, I am using the given keyword. And for the given keyword, there is a method called given. So this is the given. So as we have already done the static import, so I can directly type given. And the return type of given is request specification. So inside the request, in, so request specification is interface which have been implemented by request specification IMPL. And inside this class, there is a method called accept. So this method tells us that in what format I want to receive the data. So here I can directly use dot accept and I can specify the content type. So content type as JSON. And it is going to return as the type of uh, request specification. So here I can directly use like this when and after the get. And this will be response. Okay. So the accept method will represent return as the type of request specification, which is an interface. And this is the implementing class. And inside again, I have the when and given methods present. Okay. So once this is done, 
I'm going to put a breakpoint over here and run this script in a debug mode. So currently I have updated our test scenario with the precondition using the given. So in our coding part, I have used the given method and where I'm specifying that I want to receive the data in the form of JSON using the accept method. And after that, our action that is the get request. Perform the get request. And print the response at the console. So as you can see here, now we are getting the response in the form of JSON format. Now similarly, if I want to receive the data in the form of XML, all I need to do is to update the content type as XML. And this time it is going to return us the response in the XML format. Okay, so as you can see here. So using the accept, you can specify that in which format you want to receive the data. Although we can still use the concept of header, which we are going to discuss in the later videos. So this will be JSON or XML. So in this manner, you can capture the response coming based on the request.